This is a game called Deadbolt. It's a 9 out of 10 difficulty with the hardest trophy drawing comparisons to Wolfenstein 2's notorious Mindleben trophy. I chose to play it from a wheel I made containing some of the hardest platinums in the world, where the average difficulty is a 9 out of 10. The goal is to clear the entire wheel by the end of this series, with the first obstacle being Deadbolt. Deadbolt it is! Alright, so this is the game. It looks a lot like... That game, Skull Kid, if anyone's ever played that before. The scariest trophies in the game would come later on in the form of a speed run and a no death run. This is why it was compared to Wolfenstein 2. But for now, I don't have to worry about that, but I was really scared of it. Oh, okay, so you stab a man with R2 like that. I can take cover behind the couch. Oh, oh I just got smoked. So I have to clear a level with headshots only. Let me see if I can do that right here. Ha, two headshots right there. I, three headshots. Oh! Is that a headshot? I wasn't paying attention. Okay, we got 75% accuracy. Now here in this room, you can actually check the trophies of the game without having to go to the PlayStation menu. And the devs actually implemented them into the game experience. So in this game, you actually get rewarded for the trophies with something called souls. I don't, I don't know what they do quite yet, but I'm interested to see. So for the trophy where I get only headshot kills, it gives me 20 souls. I really wanted to see what souls do in this game, so I went into the first mission to try to get that headshot trophy done, and also the trophy for completing it. Alright, so we just pulled up to the scene. So these are zombies, actually. We're gonna grab this gun. One headshot. Knock on the door. That's... Oh! Okay. So far, so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing great. We're doing great. Is he gonna come downstairs? Because it... Yes, he is. No! He killed me! You're literally one shot in this game. Like, that's crazy. Oh my gosh, these guys are they are lighting me up. This game is so fun. Okay, there's one guy left. When he walks past, we're going to go through the door. Take cup. Okay, I, did, I didn't mean to do that. I turned off the light by accident. Stage cleared. Return to your car. And we got clocked in. I got 83% headshot hits. I killed everyone with a headshot. What? At least I got some souls from that. So I replayed the level for the headshot trophy, and this happened. That gotta be it. That has to be it. That literally has to be it. Yes, we got it. Professional. I moved on to the next trophy to get some extra souls before figuring out what they would do. For this, I just had to melee a bouncer to death. Got him. Let's go. So now it's time to figure out what I can do with these souls. Because each trophy in the game gives you more. So I wanted to see what to do with them. Is this where I get to spend? Oh, I can buy a weapon here. Oh, this is so cool. So this is where I can spend my souls. So I can buy this gun, death plus taxes. High fire rate holds 14 bullets. It costs 80 souls. Oh, the scythe. That looks so cool. It costs 200. I can't wait till I unlock that. Oh, I can buy a tactical SMG. Okay, hold on. Let me let me buy this. Uh, okay, new weapon, tactical SMG. And we got a trophy for that, coinage. My next trophy was for killing an enemy while they're on the toilet. In this game, you can travel through vents. And if someone's on the toilet dropping nukes because they had the bubble guts from Taco Bell, you can come up and kill them. So we're going to go up here. There's a zombie right there. So as soon as I get out, I'm just going to light him up. Oh, I didn't even have to shoot him. And we got dethroned. That man was just trying to let out his feces and he got smoked. <laughs> My next goal was to complete all the missions from this first set. Upon clearing the last one, I would get a trophy for it. So I just went through all of them, lighting dudes up left and right, getting more familiar with the mechanics of the game as I went. Let's go. Zombie King's clear. Moving on to the next chapter brought even more trophies. One for killing a vampire midair. One for killing a sergeant mid spin. I got a trophy and another for clearing this mission without letting any vampires revive. To prevent this, I would have to shoot these bottles and then if I kill them, they stay dead. Oh, I got a trophy, let the dead rest. Now I had to clear a mission with only melee weapons. I am buying the scythe. Long range slashing weapon can't be thrown. Let's go, this better be the best weapon in the game. All right, we're gonna go for the melee only clear of a level on the first one. Watch this. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, I still got killed. Okay, as soon as they come upstairs, I'm lighting them up. Or not lighting them up, but slicing them up. Whew, just like that. This guy has a melee weapon, so I can uh, slice him up. Three more enemies left. Yes, the guy with the gun is dead. Okay, that guy's dead. And there's one guy left with his back turned. And that's it. We should get the trophy. Yup, there it is, traditional. Now here's the last mission of this chapter. I had to take on a boss fight in this one. If I can beat her, then I get a trophy. To win the fight, I have to destroy multiple of the bottles around the stage so she doesn't resurrect when I kill her. And once that was done, then I could take her on. But this got intense. 
I was taking cover behind this couch, and usually whenever you're getting sprayed behind cover, the enemy reloads, but this lady never reloaded. I was trying to get the perfect timing between shots to get a shot off real quick, but remember, I'm one shot, so if I miss time it, I'm dead and have to restart the whole mission. Bro, this is insane. Oh, I got her. I got her. I got her. Give me the trophy. Yes, 1,000 year royals cleared. I moved on to the final chapter of the game, went through all the levels, and then made it to the last one. But this one was not easy at all. It's a boss fight where you have to take out this dude multiple times in order to actually beat him. My first attempt went really well. I got really close, but then I struggled for a very long time. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. I died. Oh my gosh. Come on. No! Come on, bro! I vented! I quickly realized that this was not going to be an easy fight, so I turned on my timer to see how long it would actually take me to beat the whole thing, but add like 10 minutes to that because I forgot to turn it on for a bit. Also, shout out to Smoothie for the idea. He commented about it, and I think it's a good addition. A few headshots depending on the gun is enough to take down the boss, but then he's going to respawn elsewhere on the stage. Once you take him down four times, he's done. And right here around the 40 minute mark, I just needed to take him out once more. Bro, how many shots does the man take? Like, bro, I shot him like six, seven times. I'm over an hour into this at this point, and I was really hoping to get it done soon. If I can take him down one more time, I'll be done with it. Come over here, come over here. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Oh, is this how it ends? Okay, we've got plenty of ammo to take out the rest of the dudes. So we're going to play it safe, and I think this should be the W. But that's one. Yes! I got him! Wait, why does it still st tell me to kill all undead? Do I have to shoot him once more? Can he kill me? I don't even know if he can kill me. I've never gotten this far before. Alright, I'm just gonna stand on top of here. I think that I think that's it! It's so warm. This snow, how is that warm? Yes! The dredged cleared okay so now that the game is over we need to do some cleanup before we get to the extremely hard trophies there's a gold trophy called cassette culture where i have to collect all the cassette tapes i can see how many i have right here and you see two empty slots meaning i'm only missing those the bad part is they're rng based so i have to go out and farm kill a certain enemy to get the cassettes i need it might take a while hopefully not though i loaded up the level i needed to do and on my second try it dropped Oh, I got the cassette tape that easily. And then I realized for the last one, I needed to fight the same boss again. After fighting him for over an hour, turns out he has a slight chance to drop the last cassette tape I needed. So I would have to kill him multiple times until it dropped. This was a miserable process to go through because I hated this boss fight, but it was only a matter of time. How much time has passed, bro? It's been an hour and 30 minutes. Oh, bro. This... Come on, drop it. Yes! Yes, he dropped it! He finally dropped it! After an hour and a half! Yes! Cassette culture! Man, RNG trophies, yo! That's crazy! Alright, I'm on this level with a whole bunch of traps. I need to get through the level while killing all enemies with traps. So I can't kill any enemies with my gun. I've been through this level before. I kind of know how it works. It's going to be a trap right here. Activate it, then run away. The first enemy I'm going to kill with the trap is this guy. So I'm going to knock on the door. He's going to come and I'll hide behind the couch and... He gets absolutely lit up by those guns right there. And now that trap is deactivated. There are also people up here. So if I activate this switch, I get those kills right there. There's still two more though. I, I might be able to ignore them because I have to kill Timer the Tinkerer or whatever. So technically I don't have to kill everyone. Here, here's what I'll do. I'll try to juke them out. So, yep, just like that. They're, they might come downstairs. If they can come downstairs, then I can just run past them. Which one of them come on can the other guy come downstairs please oh my gosh okay we might we might just have to make a break for it when his back is turned because he didn't he didn't run downstairs okay go 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 oh my gosh okay actually i have an idea to kill all of them so if i go up real quick and then i come back down they're all gonna gather towards the door and if i activate this at the right moment i might be able to get all of them right there okay i got two of them and now we can go upstairs that was a play i didn't get all of them but that worked here, I have to be careful and disable these traps. Before anything, I have to see how I'm gonna get past that guy up top. I actually don't have to kill him, I can run right past him. Yeah, bro, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run right past that guy. Or I'll, I'll lead him here. Bro, you not see me? There we go, chase me. Okay, he's gonna do that swing. Now we just go through the vent. Perfect. 
so far so good now that dude in there is the guy i need to kill open this door it should be the fourth button on the wall four that's gonna go in there and that's gonna kill him so he's dead okay now i just need to return to the car and the trophy's mine so go through the vents i might be able to drop down from the roof yeah let's go mission complete that should be the trophy collateral damage okay so now here on this level i have to get through the entire thing without using the tommy gun the tommy gun is right there i have to kill puff so i, don't, I actually don't have to kill all these guys oh my gosh okay well those guys drop shotguns so if i need any ammo i can get from them wait till his back is turned bro what There we go. Okay. We can pick up the shotguns. Oh, he tried it. He definitely tried it. It was a valiant effort. Oh, take cover. Okay, he's reloading. Hit him once. Got him. And we get the trophy. Nah, I'm good. Now on this mission, I have to kill that girl up there with a melee weapon. And there's a girl on the other side I have to kill with a ranged weapon. Okay, we took her out really easily flip this switch and now we need to go flip the other switch for the other girl all right now we need to take out that girl up there yes push up as she reloads there we go hit the switch now when you take out one of these two there's this blue light that slowly goes down to their body once it reaches them they get revived so you have to take them out quickly before those lights hit their body to kill them permanently they ended up getting revived so i had to finish them off again both switches are flipped and now i just need to take her out with uh the gun and the other one with the melee weapon okay i gotta move quick because that little ball that's how fast she's gonna get revived yes quid pro quo quo quid pro quo okay whatever <laughs> i can't read in this mission there are these enemies with these trench jackets floating around they have the ability to revive other enemies i have to destroy a body as it's being revived but i was kind of confused with the requirements of the trophy so it took me a while yes finally okay so i am taking control of a sniper this is a pretty cool section of the game i have to headshot every enemy in here besides or not besides including the boss or the sniper who's trying to kill me which is this lady right here but we can't kill her because we have to kill everyone else first so i'm just gonna start from the top i don't know how many enemies there are but there's a dude with a minigun right here i don't know why it's so delayed it's kind of weird and like the sniper has some sway I think it's clear to do a last scope out because I can't return. If I if I end up messing up here and missing one person, then I have to go through the entire level again, which is going to be annoying. Oh, wait, look, there's more enemies up here. All the way up here. See? Yeah, they're hard to see. Very hard to see, but there's more up here. See, they tried... They... Did that guy just fall off the drop down here? Look, two more in the corner over here. That's crazy that they're doing stuff like that. Okay. Any more, any more. I think that's it. All right, we're gonna take out the boss. Is that it? Come on, give me the trophy. Yes! Let Sniper do some words I can't read. All right, I've gotta do a stealth mission here. Complete this without being seen. So, we gotta destroy this camera first off. Okay, it's down. You're gonna throw the hammer at the light, pick it up, and then throw the hammer at this guy. I probably didn't even need to do that. I probably could have walked right past him, huh? Okay, I can go upstairs because it's dark, so he's not even going to see me. So just throw the knife at him. Now, instead of going through that door, I'll have to vent. Travel to the vent. And get behind here. Inspect the candle. And now I just have to return to the car and we're good. But not before I kill these guys right here, so... I don't know if that counts. Well, let's hope it does. If not, we'll just restart. It did! Baba Yaga. Here's another mission. This one's harder. I have to get through this without being seen. But I do have sniper support. And you can see my ammo there in the bottom left. So there's no way I can get past this first guy without using the sniper support. So I'm just going to aim. 
press L1 and take his head off. Okay, I think I know what to do. There's what? One, two, three, four, five enemies there. I have four sniper shots. Use four of the shots and then kill the last enemy. So this is the way I'm gonna do it. We're gonna start out by taking out this dude when the other guy's walking back. Oh, I kind of messed up. He's probably gonna see the dead body. He might react. Nope, he did not. Take out this one and take out the last one. Oh, he saw me. No big deal though. I can restart and then get back here in like 30 seconds. Snipe that guy. I have one shot left. There we go. Got him. We can. We have to activate this portal. Oh, okay. I didn't even have to go through the portal. We got from the shadows. Now the last three trophies for the platinum were definitely the hardest ones. The next one I went for was to get five stars on every mission. To get five stars, you need to focus on headshots and accuracy mostly. Apparently time plays a role too, but I'm not sure how much. Now some of the missions were really easy to get five stars on, but there were a few that took me a really long time, like a couple hours just to get one done. Here are my reactions to completing those. That gotta be it. No, that has to be, th bro, that was like perfect. That was like a perfect run. Bro, this, I can't do any better than that. Yes! Oh my gosh! Yes! Oh my gosh. Come on, that's gotta be five stars. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Woo! Oh my gosh, bro, it's been like two hours. After I got the hard ones done, all I needed to do was this last easy one for the trophy. All right, cool. We should get the trophy as long as we got five stars on this. Yes! Only two more for the platinum. And while that may have been true, I had to overcome the biggest hurdle of this game. I know death run and a speed run. Both can be done at the same time, but I'm not that good. I'm gonna do one at a time. I decided to do the no death run first, and I streamed it here on YouTube. That's the only place I stream. The game has 27 missions for you to get through entirely without dying. But there is a slight exploit just like there was in Super Meat Boy. In this game, when you die, your character model actually stays on the ground for a few seconds before respawning back to life. The instant that you die, if you pause and press quit mission and reload, it doesn't count as a death. So it only counts as a death when the character model respawns. And of course that would make this no death run significantly easier, but I still had to be very careful because if I lost focus for one second and accidentally respawned, then an entire run is done. And so here I am on stream on the last level of the game. You've seen me have trouble with this boss and I was really excited to move on into the speed run when this happened. Oh! Why did he turn back around? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm ending. I'm ending. I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't react fast enough. I can't. I can't. I just wasted three hours of my life. I took a break and gave it another shot that night off stream. I saw a strategy where you can shoot out the lights in the stage to help reduce visibility, making it easier to headshot him. And with the new strategy, this is what happened. I got him. I got him. It's working. Oh, he, he literally respawned right in front of me. This is his last life. Oh my gosh. This literally could be it right here. He's down there. There's quite a lot of enemies on that floor. This makes it so much easier. Now it's gonna be hard to headshot him with all those people there, but as soon as I get the shot lined up, he's done. I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him, I just got him. Shoot him one more time. That gotta be my trophy, no death run. Yes! Yes! Ah. One more trophy for the plat, baby. So the game took me two hours and 20 minutes to beat. I have to do a speed run next where I beat it under one hour. Now I can die during the speed run, which is okay, but I don't know, man. Completing in one hour, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I have to learn the levels some more. And here was my first attempt. Well, I've officially failed. I was only able to make it through the first two chapters. I haven't even got to the second or the, I mean, excuse me, the third chapter. To do better, I studied a world record speed run. I found it hard to pull up all the maneuvers because all the videos that were up on this game were played on PC, which you can hit some crazy shots with a mouse, but you can't do that with controller. Now I know you can plug your mouse and keyboard into the PlayStation to use it, but it's not compatible with this game. There were some things I learned from the speed run though, and I did better because of it. Timer just passed the one hour mark and I failed. There's only a few more missions left, so I have to be faster, but this is insanely difficult, man. Like, I, oh, some of these levels, like, I have to get better at them. So I practiced the ones I was struggling on, and then tried again. No! Are you serious? They heard that! Oh, that ruined me! Seven minutes and 43 seconds. Absolutely not good. That's gonna need to get practiced. Wow, I just completely fumbled the run on there. 
Um, yeah, we got what, like three more missions to go and I've officially failed. Well, in like 50 seconds, I will. It's tough. Oh, it's because I spent seven minutes on that one mission and I spent like five minutes on another mission here in this last chapter. And I'm on this mission, which is already problematic for me. So I need to practice some more before I can do the official run. There were two main missions that I messed up on and I practiced those before I started my fourth attempt. So when I went to try it, I felt pretty confident, but I was still kind of scared. We're at the 30 minute mark going into the last chapter. We have 30 minutes to complete one chapter. Come on. I know this chapter like the back of my hand. Come on, bro. Oh, I fumbled. I fumbled. I missed a shot. Bro, like, come on. He's reviving dudes. No! Come on, come on, come on. Bro, I'm fumbling these last levels. I show you those mess ups because I was doing pretty good in this run until I got to the last chapter. And here I am on the second last mission with 12 minutes remaining. And I'm trying to dodge these sniper bullets that are coming at me, but take a look. No! Why did she shoot that fast? Why did she shoot that fast? I have to pick the last lock. Oh, I'm gonna lose because of that. I'm at uh, 12 minutes. This is the final mission. Oh my gosh, I have 10 minutes. Come on. This has to be it. And while 10 minutes seemed like a lot of time, I always had trouble with this boss. On top of that, I was getting nervous, so I couldn't really play properly. Okay. Like, you see how that took an extra shot? Like, stuff like that, I'm gonna fumble on constantly. Shoot out all the lights. Shoot out all the lights. All the lights. No! You see? You see? You see what I mean? You see what I mean? Yes. I got him. I got him twice. That's three times. If I kill him one more time, I get this platinum, bro. Oh my gosh. I have what? Six minutes, plan this out strategically. Don't do anything stupid. I'm so scared right now. I'm so scared right now. I'm, I, this, I think this is right here. Oh! No! That was it. I took him down, but one lurking soldier shot me to death. And beware, my reaction to this was pretty loud, so you might want to lower your volume. Three. Two, one. What? That was a fake! Oh, I have to kill him fast! I have to kill him so fast! I have to kill him so fast! I, I beat it, but I died at the same time! No way that just happened to me! Oh my gosh! Fast! 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 I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose. Oh, three minutes, I have three minutes, I have three minutes. On my last bullet, on my last bullet. I think that's it. We have two minutes and 40 seconds. As long as the credits don't count towards the time. Yes! <laughs> Bro! You cannot make up that ending. Bro! <laughs> Insane! Jesus! Oh, man. Before I end off, I have to spin to see what game I'll do in the next episode of this series. Okay, N++. This is an 8 out of 10 75 hour game, so it's going to be very tough. If you like the 2D hard platinums, I have another one right here on the screen that you can watch.